Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Swift family. Thank you, as always, for tuning into another video. And today, I'm going to be putting on the coach's cap, and I'm going to be teaching you guys just a little bit about chemistry in Madden 17 and everything you didn't know, or maybe you know. Um, a lot of people I know are having a lot of trouble with this, so I thought I'd, you know, bring some of my knowledge. I've been really looking at it in depth, and I think I've figured out most of the kinks. Um, but this is definitely a really cool feature they've added into the game. I'm super happy they did. And there's a lot of different parts to it. It's not just like the chemistry you've seen in the past games, which is just kind of like short run, um, short pass, speed run, zone defense. It's like a lot of different aspects that are actually really brought all together into one. So I think it's really going to be a successful project Madden's brought in. And I'm not surprised if we will see it later uh, in the coming Maddens. Now, the first thing I want to show you guys is the chemistry on the right. So to get access to it, uh, you just put R3, the right bumper. And on the right hand side, you're going to see the three, or the chemistry. So as you see, I've actually filled out base balance offense. That's just coincidentally, I didn't obviously mean to. It was just, these are just my starting cards. Anyways, so you see, there's first is going to be the name and the description. So base balance offense. And then you're going to see the impact below that, which is the stats that it actually is going to affect. Just to the right, you're going to see who it targets, so the offense, and then the salary cap. So it's going to be five, because, you know, five players, obviously, right? Then on the left-hand side of that little box, you're going to get the pie chart. And the pie chart represents how many players you're going to need to actually fill up that chemistry. So, And once you fill the chemistry, that's how it's going to be activated. So let's say you had four players, the chemistry would not be activated. But now that I have five players who are base-balanced offense, the chemistry is activated, and I will be able to get the boosts um, from the chemistry to my team. And there are a bunch of these ones. For example, base pass offense, I believe that's also five. And you see there's different ones, uh, you know, different um, things that it, uh, uh, sorry, different things that it affects. So we, uh, here we got catch and pass block for the pass offense. Um, so it's just all different. One really cool thing that they've done is that if you, so let's say for um, base pass offense, for example, or let's say for base balanced offense, um, let's say I've got two and sorry let's say I've got instead of five players let's say I've got ten players so I could have ten base balance offense players on my team and that would double everything so instead of getting the one ups in each of those statistics um, I don't remember what they were but I would get actually plus two for every single player that is affected on my offense by that um, so that's really interesting I think that's really a cool part of Madden I'm happy that they did that because maybe you could just like fully stack one or you can go like heavy on a bunch of different ones so um, and like spread the love and that way you would get like a bunch of different attribute upgrades or you could just like some people like maybe they're like a big long ball tossers they would really like upgrade spec catch and throw power something like that so I think that's very cool um, while this base balanced offense does affect only the offense sometimes they will be more specific and it will feel like offensive line or it'll be like defensive line quarterback running back so it all really depends the ones that are highlighted in blue on the team are obviously the ones that are going to be affected by the uh, chemistry and the ones that overalls are blue are actually the players whose overall have been boosted due to a chemistry upgrade um, so these players for example this I don't even want to try to pronounce this guy's name but um, my left guard here he was boosted and so he went from a 69 overall to a 70 overall, which is I think is a really cool part of the game. I mean, when you can just boost your overalls. And it's not fake, right? This isn't some voodoo. Like, you can actually go into the stats and see where it upgraded. So you see it upgraded once in strength and once in awareness, obviously uh, being the blue ones. So it's not like like last year when it's like, oh, does chemistry actually do anything? Like, am I really getting a good bang for my buck? Or is it just like all a fake and a you know a scheme this year it's actually like wow I can actually go in there I can look at what I'm getting upgraded and I can tell myself he is proving to me that they are upgrading it um, so I think that's really good it's like it's pretty much just saying to you like this does work this isn't some sort of like you know like little thing that we just want to try to do just to add another aspect to the game this is legitimate and it actually will affect your team in a bunch of different areas. I'm not sure that plus one in one specific area, honestly, is gonna make a huge difference on field. Personally, I don't think so. Um, but maybe when you like double up, like some some pie charts, um, I'll get into it later, but some pie charts are only worth like two. So, and so if you do like four players, you'll get a lot. Um, one thing I do want to address quickly though, is that you see this guy, um, 
McCray, Demetrius McCray. He is a cornerback and he's starting a free safety for me. You see on his card the little uh, square with the balanced or balanced defense in it. I think that is is actually crossed out. That is because he is a cornerback playing free safety. So whenever you have somebody out of position, they're immediately gonna their chemistry will be knocked off. And this is because they don't want people just to like cheese and like get a bunch of different cards that have the same chemistry and just put them all over their lineup, right? Um, so this happens with a lot of people at uh, with the tight ends putting the fullback positions. So this year, if you want the chemistry, you'll actually have to use a fullback at a fullback position, which I guess isn't too bad because um, often fullbacks could be cheaper if you got the cheap ones. With I'm um, on, I don't know. We'll see. Um, it all will work out, I'm sure, but. One thing I do want to show you is I'm going to hop over to the auction house right here and I just want to show you guys how many actual chemistries there are in the game because there is a ridiculous amount of chemistries, it's actually crazy. And some of them are going to be worth a lot more than others um, and some of their players are going to be like the uh, upgrades are going to be a lot different so like starting at the top here you see all these different crazy chemistries. Um, I think there's like two for every single team which is crazy. Um, so starting at the top, going down, I think they get better as you progress down, like they usually do in all the other categories in the year. Um, so you see we're going down, they're getting better and better. But just to show you, there are a bunch of uh, chemistries. So if we go to Big Hitter now, you see there's only th four cards in the game that actually, oh, five cards, that have um, the Big Hitter chemistry. So these are gonna, obviously going to be rare, and if you're going for Big Hammer chemistry, you know you're only going to get these specific cards, and you're not going to get a lot. Likely also with Big Hitter, there's probably only going to be like a three, uh, Pie Chart is only going to need probably three players to fill it out because there's just not that many players in the game you can use to fill it out. Um, so that's that's something that I think is pretty interesting. Um, let's see if we choose another one here. So we go to Edge Setter. You see there's only two in the game. You can like, There's only two Edge Setters in the entire game that you could use, at least on the auction block. Um, I think there's probably only two uh, in the game. That's just what I would assume. Um, let's head over to his chemistry actual section here, which is cool. They actually explain it on the back um, Because if you know if you don't know you can just head over to the back of the card And it'll really just give you an in-depth look at the chemistry and what boosts you're getting and everything So you see on this guy. There's only two um, Spots there's only two I guess the pie chart is split in half So you only need two players of the Ed Setter chemistry to activate the chemistry for your lineup if I mean, obviously that makes sense because there's only two in the game, but let's say there were four in the game. If you had four edge setters on your team um, in the right position, then you would get the double boost. Um, so you see you get three boosts here, strength, block shed, and pursuit. Um, so let's say you had four edge setters, you would get plus two strength, plus two block shed, plus two pursuit. So these chemistries are going to be super useful. Um, something else that's going to be really interesting to the year, I'm just going to show you guys another example here, um, is... These chemistries are going to get a lot better, they're going to bring out new ones, and the current chemistries that are in the game are going to, um, oh by the way, Patrick DeMarco here, you see there's two um, blocks, but there's only actually one bruising back card in the game. So this is an example of one that couldn't actually be fulfilled because there's only one guy in the game, so obviously how could you fill it if you're right? Anyways, um, so these chemistries are going to get better through the year, and they're going to be a lot more significant. So an example of how they'll get better is... They'll have more um, to do actually in gameplay with your team. So, for example, I've heard that maybe throughout the year, as we get like more into like the 99 overall part of Madden, there's going to be players that when you put their chemistries together, like for example, every time you get into a tackle battle, the button you're going to have to press is going to be triangle every single time, and that could be super useful on the field, right? Imagine getting into a tackle battle every single time it'll be triangle. You just pretty much know. Like, you get, you, you make contact with the defender, triangle right away, and you break free every single time, right? So these chemistries are going to have a lot more to do with just than the actual players and how they get along and function together. There's going to be a lot of in-game perks to using specific cards. Uh, the final thing I do want to show you guys here is something that I think is honestly one of the most important things you need to remember when looking at chemistries. And we'll go to this Laquan Treadwell, for example. Uh, I don't know if he is the best example, but you see he is a balanced offense card. Um, so... This card being balanced offense does not mean that every other Laquan Treadwell in the game is balanced offense, right? So he's sitting at about 4,000 4, coins. Um, let's say there's a Laquan Treadwell that, I don't know, route runner, route runner uh, chemistry. That Laquan Treadwell could be a lot more rare than this one. So he might be sitting at somewhere around 8,000 coins, 7,000 coins, because that route runner chemistry is a lot more valuable and rare 
than the balanced offense. So something you're gonna want to look at when buying your players isn't just which one is the cheapest one I can buy. Not like like last year where it'd be like, oh, just filter buy now price and then I would find whichever one I could that is the cheapest. Now you're gonna want to look at which specific player is the chemistry you want with your team and then you're gonna obviously try to find the cheapest one of that. Likely if that's, you know, I mean, that's what I would do at least. Uh, maybe you got some other sort of voodoo you do. Um, but that is it, guys. I think that's all the chemistry I've got for you guys. I think I did touch on everything. Uh, if you guys do have any other questions, I will be researching this more, so make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Also, you guys can help out each other. Let me know anything I might have missed down in the comment section below. Uh, really appreciate the views. If this video helped you at all, if you liked it, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button for more. Uh, we just hit 500 subscribers, guys, so thank you so much. We are having a giveaway. Um, but that's all for me today, and until next time, stay swift.